The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure. Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Jabra Al Ahmed Al Jabra Sabah, the Sman Diabetes Institute (DDI) was established to address the growing epidemic in Kuwait. With his efforts to promote national welfare, the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences (KFAS) surveyed the top diseases affecting the Kuwaiti population. Among those diseases, diabetes was the fastest-growing chronic condition. As a result, KFAS financed the establishment of DDI. The foundation's cornerstone was laid on the 8th of May of 2001. On the 16th of June of 2006, the institute was inaugurated by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The institute's mission is to prevent, control, and mitigate the impact of diabetes and related conditions in Kuwait through effective programs of research, training, education, and health promotion, and thereby improve the quality of life. DDI is governed by several committees that support the functions of its three divisions, research, medical, and operations, and accredited by ACI Canada. DDI also upholds the highest standards to ensure compliance to the policies and procedures, maintain proper conduct with the values of the Institute, and follow the ethical laws and regulations. DDI aims to create a platform for diabetes research and education increase public awareness on diabetes and its comorbidities, reduce the incidence and prevalence of diabetes, encourage a healthy lifestyle. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding Kuwait development projects. From Kona account, Kuwait announces major development in petrochemical projects. And from Kuwait account, 80 to 90 percent of 48 important development projects solved. And from Kuwait Daily News account, Jahra Road development project at 94% completion. And from Kuwait Times, Amir informed of islands development project, part of vision to turn Kuwait into economic center. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the websites on the screen. Fairlika Island and its immeasurable value in time and place brings mystery and discussion on the topic of its preservation and protection. Uh, actually, my lecture today in uh, this event, Corner and Modern Art of Fairlika, is kind of collaborative uh, activity between Kuwait University, National Council of uh, Culture and uh, Letters, to promote uh, Fairlika uh, archaeology, history, and heritage through multiple perspectives, from scientific, academic uh, aspect to the modern art, a new concept, how to promote Feilika. Because Feilika played a vital role during the Bronze Age, 4,000 years ago. It was one of the transport points uh, mediating um, ancient Mesopotamia, Indus Valley, Majan, which is nowadays Oman, a kingdom of Dilmun, nowadays Bahrain, and Elam civilization in Iran. So uh, we have a good archaeological record since 1958 when the Danes came into Kuwait and started the first archaeological excavation after uh, accepting the invitation of Sheikh Abdullah al-Jabr, rahmatullah alayh, 
and they started since 1958 until today. So we have more than 44 archaeological sites representing a Bronze Age, Iron Age, Hellenistic, after Alexander the Great, Sasanian, uh, Early Islamic, Mid Islamic, Late Islamic, and Modern historical period. So we are talking about uh, 4,000 continuous human uh, activities on a small island called the island of Icarus, the happiness uh, island. Uh, today, actually, we are so happy that it is uh, the Failaka Island is not only owned by the academia and the discussion of the importance of Failaka, it is not only within the university uh, halls and rooms. Now we can see that too many uh, artists participate in this uh, event documenting different life, uh, ecological, environmental, historical, archaeological uh, aspects of Failaka Island in their ways. So they help us how to look to something that unimportant for us as archaeologists, but for the artists they are so important, the old windows and old manara, uh, old walls and domes that we never focused on when we go to Failaka and dig up into the ancient history. So the, I, I, uh, I thank you for Kuwait National Council, thank you for Kuwait TV to spotlight on this kind of activities because uh, we know that as Feilke played a good role uh, as a mediator 4,000 years ago, we are sure that it can play uh, a vital role uh, in the future. The National Library of Kuwait organized and held an exhibition and seminar on the topic of Feilke Island, bringing all expert anthropologists and archaeologists, historians, reputable artists, literature and display items such as pictures and others for visitors.